We're in Brighton Heights with Cheryl Capazuti. Cheryl, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Fun to have you here. <laughs> so tell me about Brighton Heights, I guess. Um, we've lived here about for about nine years, and I think it's one of Pittsburgh's sort of forgotten neighborhoods. Like people don't realize that it's here and that it's really quite a lovely place. Um, there's you know, artists that live here, families that live here, there's a lot, there tends to be space, which is something that's really nice about it, and it has a community that's pretty active in making itself um, a nice place to be. Yeah, and so you have space, I guess, to like work with things, and like studio space. Right, right. Yeah. I, we had looked um, actually all over the city to find a place that could accommodate my um, studio habits, which mm -hmm. are pretty big. I have about 200 giant puppets, so. Oh, so yeah. you make puppets. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a puppet oh, maker, cool. and I was looking for space, and we had actually lived in the East End, and I, our real estate agent, who was my mom, kept saying, you ought to look in Brighton Heights, and we're like, nobody lives on the north side. And then we came and looked, and we're like, Oh, yeah, we'll move there. People, there. Yeah. <laughs> People actually live there, yeah. and it's really nice. So. And now over 200 puppets are residents of Brighton, Brighton Heights. Heights. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so tell me how you got into puppets. Um, you know, after I graduated from college, I, I met a puppet maker. Uh -huh. And um, she encouraged, you know, I basically learned the craft from her and made a few puppets. And then I made a few more puppets and an organization bought a couple puppets. And when I moved back to Pittsburgh, I said to people, I'm a puppet maker. And they believed me. And they just believed you and then you And right. now you're, you're making puppets full time, right? Right, okay. yeah. Well, I, I teach as well, but I, when I'm teaching, oh, I'm teach. teaching puppet making. Okay, Wait, so, where do you teach puppet Well, I work as an artist in residence residents um, in schools around the region and I also teach at um, the Falk Laboratory School in Oakland part-time so oh, I run cool. the, uh, run um, uh, art studio there that does a lot of puppet making <laughs> yeah and you're involved with uh, like uh, libraries as well um, right mm -hmm. yeah I am um, working on a giant puppet lending library in the next couple months I anticipate people all over the Pittsburgh region being able to check puppets out of many regional libraries and use them for fun and yeah. entertainment yeah so. <laughs> um, so what if I mean here's one of your puppets over here right um, that's right. does it have a name or oh can she see us yeah that's awesome <laughs> What inspired you? Them. Yeah, <laughs> what inspired you to make that that puppet? <laughs> She's part of a set for New Year's Eve. She oh, um, cool. was a, a um, I, every year I make about a dozen new pieces for that for that show, and this one that piece you just saw is one of the ones that I made for which, that. Which show is it? Yeah. Um, for the for the New Year's Eve parade, which I think of it as a big show. It's about. Um, two to three hundred puppets dancing down, down the street and she was mm -hmm. one of a set of blue people that I made one year. Is this in this um, in this area? Or? It's not in this neighborhood, it's in downtown Pittsburgh, but okay. I do all the workshops here in Brighton Heights. Oh, cool. Or most of the workshops here in Brighton Heights. So um, do, is it mainly Brighton Heights residents who come to your workshops? Or? Um, people from all over the city, but I always in, you know encourage my neighbors. And since I've moved here, a, n a number of my friends have also moved to the neighborhood, so there's, there's like a high density of puppet makers in Brighton Heights these days. So. Yeah. Wait, yeah, like a, have you found, like, are, are puppets moving into the neighborhood and pushing Pu other people out of the neighborhood? I wouldn't say pushing people yeah. out, but, okay. you know, they're definitely um, part of the scene here, yeah. at, here in Brighton. Puppet Heights. gentrification. Puppet gentrification, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Once the puppets come in, yeah. That's right. it. In yeah. fact, our, for the Brighton Heights house tour, we have puppets out on the streets guiding people to see the different properties in our neighborhood. Really? Yeah, it's really fun. What are the, where, where, how does your puppets, like, what are the range of puppets? Like, what kind of puppets? I'm sure there's, like, it's not just giant blue people puppets. I'm sure right. there's lots it's of It's cool... all imaginary creatures. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really make, I make very few things that people would describe as real. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> but I, I do also have series of, you know, polka dotted giraffes and uh -huh. giant elephants, dancing mm -hmm. penguins. Um, uh -huh. All kinds of things, you know, like oh, any kind of people, any yeah. kind of puppets you can imagine. What about material and stuff? Um, most of the pieces are paper mache uh -huh. and may and um, you know, fabric. For you know, my this person who sews my puppet suits lives a couple doors down, so oh, I have cool. a little seamstress in the neighborhood. It's a network of, of people. <laughs> yeah, a network yeah. of people that help to produce the puppets here in Brighton Heights. And friends too, and family. <laughs> friends, I, you right. were telling that you uh, you found out that you were related to someone, right? I, Marilyn, who you just met a minute ago, yeah. after who lives catty corner. Um, after I moved into the neighborhood, um, I was talking to her, and somehow her maiden name came up. She, had, she said, my maiden name is Young. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, that's funny. That's my mother's maiden name. And she's like, well, I grew up on True Hill. Troy Hill. And I'm like, that's funny. My mom grew up on Spring Hill, but yeah. her dad was from Troy Hill. Uh -huh. And we actually discovered through the course of our conversation that our 
grandfathers were brothers, I think really? it was, and who married cousins. Yeah. So we're related two ways. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like weird. Good thing we found that out before. <laughs> like, kids marry. Your kids we have all daughters. Oh, so, yeah, good, I mean, yeah. not, you know, I suppose. You yeah. Know. <laughs> I mean, I'm open minded. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, but uh, I think that that's a Pittsburgh story, right? Yes, like the connection for sure, between people sure. and how, yeah. like, you, um, you meet people and you find connections to them. You're not always related to them by, you know, two ways. Yeah. But, um, but I'm sure that if we dug long enough, we would discover that we know a lot of the same people as well. Oh, and, yeah. You know, your daughters go to school around here? My daughters go to school at Falk where I teach. So oh, we all cool. go together to yeah. school. And the kids from this neighborhood go to schools all over the region. It seems like there's isn't one particular school. There's a lot of different options for parents, which are which is another nice thing about the neighborhood. That's a great thing about yeah. the neighborhood, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what are the kids' reactions to puppets? Well my kids, kids are like, yeah, yeah, general. whatever, giant puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's have another giant puppet dance party. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have dance parties a yeah. lot? Giant yeah. puppet dance parties? Yeah. Like, Wait, what, wow. What do they, what do they, what do they consist of? You know, like you set up a sound system in the backyard and invite people, 50 people over to dance and oh, wow. put on puppets. And, and the whole know, neighborhood can come by. People and come, yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that, do people bring yeah. their own puppets? Most people use my puppets because I have a lot. Yeah. You know, like I have, you know, there, but you know, people could bring their own. People could, yeah. Right okay, not, right. cool. Um, for the, every summer I host something called the Sticky Picnic where I teach uh -huh. people how to make puppets and they we do it in my backyard and people from the neighborhood come, but it, people from all over the city come as well. And so it's we, an open invitation there? Open invitation, we make puppets and then we put on the puppets and we dance. Oh, that's awesome. When is that? It, um, it's usually in July. I haven't set the date yet. Oh, yeah, summer. Cool. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. a fun, um, wacky event. And do you think that your your kids are going to, like, uh, like, Stay in Pittsburgh or are not you? Hope, I don't know. I right? guess yeah. You know, I mean, like my kids are little. They're, they're little, like they're six kids. and seven, so yeah. they haven't decided yet. You know, yeah. the, you know, like you always, you, you, you want, want your, yeah, you want yeah. it, but you also want um, your kids to pursue their passion. And, oh yeah. You know, so hopefully they'll move in and move next door, but you know, well maybe not next door. Yeah. <laughs> But um, but you you grew up here. I, guess. I, grew, I didn't grow up in the city. I grew up way north of the city, actually. Right. But I um, I, you know, like I've been in, living in the city since my mid twenties and would never leave. So. Yeah, because yeah. you like it, and because it's a good place for puppets. Right, I guess, it's a also. fantastic place for puppets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then I guess um, tell me more about um, what you think this neighborhood's gonna be in uh, later. I mean. But you know, um, we see a lot of people moving into the neighborhood, like people that are invested in making it a nicer place. Um, my friend just bought a house, the one with the stuff sign down there. A good uh -huh. friend of mine just bought that one. And yeah. my goal is to get all my friends to move to Brighton Heights. And I'm, you know, I've gotten six friends to move here in that's, the last that's good. nine years. <laughs> yeah, that's a good number. That's a pretty good number. Yeah, yeah. if you had to look yeah. one of those little cards, right? Be, yeah. <laughs> like I'd be almost to my bonus. Friend. Almost, yeah. You have one free person that has to, you forced to move right. here. I could pick anyone I want. Anyone I could pick you, want. you. Yeah, and then I have to live here. It doesn't matter. Right, it would be uh, great. I just drop all my stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I would like to live here, too. It's, I don't even think I would be, it wouldn't be a forced thing for me, yeah. Right, yeah, it's a, it's a great neighborhood. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think that we want what every Pittsburgh neighborhood wants, which is, you know, neighbors that look out for each other, yeah. um, people that take care of their properties and have a pride in um, the place. And, of course, I like things to tip a little wacky. Yeah. You know, like, I, I want to live in a neighborhood where odd things happen as well, like Absolutely. artistic things. And, um, you know, when artists move in, it gets to be a little more fun for some people. I mean, yeah. there might be people that don't think giant puppets are fun, but... I think I don't <laughs> think giant puppets are fun. Unless you have, like, a fear of puppets. There's those people, yeah. yeah. Every now and then, People, so, yeah. but I, I say don't live on Terman Avenue. Yeah, if, if, <laughs> if, if, if you have a fear of puppets. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a, that's a good, that's but a good we'll thing. respect that fear. You know? Really? I mean, you know, like, I, I tell my puppeteers if someone starts crying, turn your back and walk away. Yeah. So. Okay. That's, I mean, that could be also kind of creepy if, I, if you turn your back all of a sudden. Yeah. But um, do do people cry a lot or only little kids? Little you know, kids and very, cry. You know, just every now and then. Not my yeah. kids. My kids are like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I remember that. Like when I was when I would <laughs> go Halloween trick or treating. Yeah. Well, I, I was never frightened, but I remember going trick or treating if I was wearing a mask and then a little kid crying and being like, oh, it's, it's I'm, okay. Yeah. I'm not a monster. I'm actually just, just wearing a, guy. a mask. Yeah. <laughs> but um, and so they go in all different sizes and uh, right. all different kinds of puppets. Mm -hmm. And how do you control the puppets? Also, they're most of the ones that I'm making. You're wearing a backpack. Uh -huh. And it's just like wearing a school backpack, except there's a giant head over your head and, you know, hands that move around. Uh -huh. so. And do you have any apprentices in 
Um, I mean, I have a lot of, a number of um, both kids and young adults that come to my studio and lend a hand sometimes, and often for first night I hire assistants, and when I can hire people in the neighborhood, I love to, you know, yeah. but um, the, my, I have assistants from other neighborhoods as well, you know, like, oh, but it's okay. nice to invite people into the process, and I have a couple of teenagers down the street that when I need to do a puppet fitting to like check them, I just call them up and they'll come and put puppets on and dance around while I make sure the hems are the right length and that That's kind perfect. of stuff, which is fun. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Well, thanks a lot for coming down and yeah, talking sure. to me. Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me. It was yeah. a lot of fun to it talk to you. It was a lot you. of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I love the puppet in the background. Yeah. It was it's good. actually, believe it or not, our first shot where we had a puppet in the background so yeah. far. Well, good. Well, you've got a couple more neighborhoods, so, so if you want to might, take some yeah. puppets with you, could you be can... more. We could find more <laughs> puppets walking in the back right, of the shop. Right. But I, I, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Well, Thank you. Yeah. Come to Brighton Heights. Come on over. <laughs>